let Pepinero walk his way back. There's been so much talk on Reddit about the current state of being an AD carry. Adri right now might want to go and make another post saying it's not very fun because he's getting absolutely destroyed. And whoa, Pepinero too. They just chain these CCs like it's no one's business. And Ryu takes out Pepinero with the help of his team. Good Fox and Jason. Ilias looking to stop that right now. Gate is used, so can't speed himself up. And Power of Evil still pushing the poke. Another missed connection, but Gilius is going to flash for it anyways. In comes Sven to turn it right around. Gilius knocked back, and Sven Skaren will finish him off. First blood, the spear connects. Sven Skaren thinks about going under tower, but he won't. His body. He's telling him yes. Good move, honestly. I think he listened to his mind. By Fox. If he's not in the top right jungle, because we just walked there, if he's not in the bottom right jungle, because we have wards there, he must be on the left side. Hill is saying go. Freddy is ignited. Freddy is in Sunny trouble, United. but he's got a Shen at his back. He's gone Meganar. The tables are turning. Unicorn's been off way more than they could chew, and the Equalizer won't do enough. The Rock, Sven Skaren, pulled in. There's the play, taken down. No tower to fall back to. SK Gaming, keep on rolling. But defense is fine with that because all he needs is offense. Mm -hmm. This game, camps away. this game, offense is the best defense for him. Huh? He might get caught for just a second, going a little far forward. Gonna leap over the wall. Freddy's there for the defense. The spear is going to connect. The reinforcements have arrived, and Chachi is going down. Fox is hooked in. True shot barrage comes in. The rockets are flying. Unicorns are firing the heavy artillery, but it's just not enough as the double kill comes in for Fox. Gilius tries to make the outplay. Will be able to finish off Sven Skarin. It's gonna be a one for three though. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Goodbye, Fox, with another. But obviously, Death Cow now that it is more expensive, Void Staff as well. It's a bit harder to get there. We might see a filler item in the middle. Now, Betsy. He's going to get ganked. Here comes Amazing. Can he find the knockup? Yes. Betsy's going to flash away. Amazing flashes forward. First blood to Captain Peke. Diamond wants a reply. The knockup doesn't connect there. There's a pounce from Diamond Prox. Going to put down the heel. Looking for a follow-up. Got whoa, him in the whoa. tower. Peke, will he get the double? The minions going to help out. Two for two. Two for two. Peke got the kills. Diamond got the kills as well. He managed to follow it. Which you need. So he's going to delay his core late game items a little bit but he's gonna be stronger right now at this given time. And that's obviously where Origin likes to really shine in the mid game. And now Soas is in trouble. Diamond and Cabo are jumping on. Amazing. There's gonna be the Void Rush. Amazing's come in. He's knocked up Cabo shot. Soas still trying to get away. Chilling Smite is down. That's a shock blast from the side. Betsy's found Soas. Hammer goes down on Amazing. With the help of the tower, double kill for Betsy. Baron secured, as we mentioned a few minutes ago. All the items are now starting to stack up and Almost every member of Gambit has got pink wards in their inventory. Uh, wait. Well, oh, you got a death cap now, and when you have a hat on, you kill people. That looked like it hurt. Three members of Gambit continuing to siege the accelerated shock boss. Chunks out, amazing. Wave clears going low. Niels is pegging a jewel with Forgiven. It's not going to work out. That is a giant oh! cow. The Ignite pulverized. Goes to taxis through a minion and takes Niels out. I see what Nukedog is doing though, trading with Febben. Well, seems to be winning that trade quite heavily, but did need to use the Chain of Corruption. Ace in the hole! Oh! Almost, but nice. Nukedog, um, it's been a bit of a bully. So here's the replay. Q ulti, yeah, beautiful. Well, this is what we said in picks and bats. Nukedog's Varus? Oh! Nobody saw that, Feb. That's one of the ways you can maybe start landing some poke, but you still gotta respect the potential flank from Huni. You have no control over the map. There's so many ways he can TP in, or you can just start the fight like this. Pepevin's coming in. We see the gold corner. Nuke Duck, the mother van, is not gonna save the lives of Rockat again. Reckless has got a kill. A three man stun from the key strike. That's a huge team fight for Fnatic. Double kill for Huni. Double kill for Reckless. And they're gonna peel for Baron. Fnatic has been getting everything. We just mentioned how if you start grouping, Huni can flank because Rugged obviously have. At this time, the frame. Wolves, especially with this lineup. There's a replay. You? I believe he still has Flash right now, so he's going to get played. He could think he play right now. He doesn't play the hook either. Oh, yeah. He gets stunned mid Flash animation. That's what happened. And Shook knows that if he just closes the gap for the Cocoon, it's enough to take Ryu down. And there is no swaps. Copenhagen Wolves actually get first blood in half of the games they play. But it, it seldom gets to more. This oh. time around, Soren, he's gone all in. Chaos Storm and a gravity stun. Ryu, has he outplayed the Chaos Storm and Winions? Ryu!
I'm watching Annie LCS because gravity is coming out on top. In the end of that trade here, Ryu, beautiful. Look at Soren. Realization, and yeah, Soren is an emotion. He's laughing. <laughs> he was able to put a lot of damage down. Oh, Ryu might. Ryu. Flash hook. Flash. The hook. Cheese is in the house. The cocoon follows suit. Oda Wamna is channeling the Stand United. Chaos Storm, mostly mitigated by the Hourglass, and the Equalizer comes Whoa. down. Lenny's got the kill onto Ryu. Freeze gets the kill onto Lulex. And another cocoon hook. Fantastic High use fives of all around. here. What, two freezes? That's going to be a great kill. <laughs> For the Copenhagen Wolves, three for zero. I believe that was. <laughs> Mithy's forced to wait. Finally, using that last uh, cookie. Yeah, Mithy one HP. channeling his inner Angelina Jolie to curving that hook as if it were a bullet. But you have to connect in that matchup, with Candy Panda, because having Shenton in top flash. That's a taunt flash. One tower, but Candy gets hooked. The flag gets under the tower. Not long enough for the tower to pull aggro. The lantern pulls Candy in. He capped the surprise. Gets it! Trade one for one. Especially if you're somebody who can carry the way he can. Fnatic will also be able to secure themselves a very early dragon unless Dexter can do something about this. He's got the ward on it, puts his heal up. It's gonna have to be a hell of a javelin. Rain over. Oh. Is the, one hit with it. the Nidalee goes in! The Nidalee gets knocked up! The Nidalee hops back, but the dragon's still alive! Smite it down! Who's it gonna go to? That's first blood! Give it over to Reckless! All of a sudden, it goes haywire! Fnatic have secured the dragon, but they may lose their lives! Huni has gotta be on the run! Element snapped the trap shut, but they can't catch anybody! Fnatic managed to disengage, get the dragon, get the first one here! Element should move into Dragon and start setting up their wards. They're... Uh-oh. Oh, Huni. Chains. So close, oh, Frog. Can you get it? Oh! Oh, he had Flash! Nice. He didn't use it! Huni, greedy, saving the fight for Frog and sniping him out. He's gonna get away out of that one. Dragon's live, though. Now, this is a small window for... Well, I say that. As I say it, Huni's coming around the flank side, and he's gonna find Tabs, who didn't know what hit him. Huni gets a solo kill on the side. And the crowd and lets out a big holo holo for just a second as the dragon has started. And just one mistake on the map and Fnatic will punish you. Get the Baron now. Everything is open. Elements. Oh, well, not again. Out again. Rogan, where did he go? Huni takes him down and now we're starting to see that full damage. Jarvan whoa, build whoa, and whoa. Dexter, the kid, he's getting burned. Has to leap, has to get the coin. Febif is going to flash for it, but he might have baited himself into a taunt. Going to be able to get out of that courtesy of his cleanse. And poking it down for the Unicorn to block. Diamond, he's going in. They've got to make something happen here. This is the time it counts. Diamond going in, going low, however, and absolutely demolished. Gilius now is going to go for the dunk, but he does manage to grab Kabushard before he falls down as well. That might Unicorn, be Pyra. They're going to try to end this one right here. A quadra kill just like that Penta. for the Oriana. Can he secure it up? Yes, he can. A pentakill for Power of Evil. Runeglaive, Oriana getting a pen a kill in the first game in the Unicorns of Love. Good alt for Flash there. It'll work out in the end. They're gonna get some aggro onto the Dragon area now. A little overheat here by Balls. Doesn't look like he's winning this one straight up. On the side for Flares, there's the Rumble ultimate going down. Flares very low, he's gonna try to get through the minions. Great find, can't do it. Goes down right in the middle of the pack. A turret going down in the mid lane as well. This is gonna create forward wards and more pressure. Yeah, well, he's able to break the freeze by drawing out the teleport with a play down bottom uh, and then answering it with one of his own. But it looks like Impulse want to go for that dive. Oh boy, they're getting their fight that they want. Six and a half minutes in, they start the first one. First blood going on to Wild Turtle. Impact gets out, making a good one at that with the rest of the team. First kill goes to him. Dominating the rest of the team, pressuring onto Dragon here. We haven't had any movement yet yeah. from that top lane horse. So, oh boy. What about their super? I, oh. I don't want to be in the Dragon pit alone by myself right now. Jeez. Team Liquid, I heard you need a little help in this game with Quas being so hurt. Dragon's got your back. It has died fewer times than him. And now Altec also has a good start. So that could be the decider in this game as we go for the next dragon. We're seeing a whole lot of damage come out though. This dive could come around. Second dragon picked up. Kimiki taking a whole bunch of pain, but the target switched over. Move just gets evaporated for that one. And we're going to see the chase continue as Hauntzer does manage to knock down Kimiki. But Gamsu, whoa! Massive Gnar ultimate right across the bow is the REQ. And this could be the exact fight Dignitas wanted. A quadra? A quadra kill for Shifter. Red buff is on. Charms up. Good flash by Altec with the flash. Q, He's got the a pentakill for Shifter! A 14-minute pentakill for
for Shifter, and now all seven of Team Dignitas' kills. What just happened right there? He's a full item or two ahead of the Rumble. Oh, the Stolen. spike comes in from move, and the battle has begun. Bunny on the front line stops the REQ. A bunch of bursts come through Equalizer towards the front line. Helios at half, looks for Altec, misses the charm, though, and damage keeps coming through. Helios, one hit from getting stunned. The stun now lands, and Altec gets some damage, forcing the flash away. Inside track on mid lane, Dignitas have to recall. How many home guard boots can they move? Altec tried to push the mid wave. He's on his way, but this time Core JJ is there to try and blow this down. Move, he's gonna have to pull off a mirror. Smite, Smite again. He's in so early. He's in early, but this is burst. He got oh it again! God. Move again! Stops the Dragon 5, he will die. Hanser did ult, but it got canceled via the death. There's a 30 second window where Gams who's alive and move is not, but I don't know if Dick could do much about that. I had to respect the Twisted Fate all wow. for his own life. As well to control. They'll see this fight before we talk about that last one again real quick. Flares getting I hit get up. There's the Fates Call. They didn't Fates get Call pops up everybody in the oh middle of the fight. Goodness. And they just wipe out enemy on a bushwhack. Oh, man. Oh. Especially was, yeah, that was great. Basically not there, right? Uh, I know Pull Belter goes aggressive. That gives Incarnation a lot of room to walk Whoa! around. Whoa, nice shockwave. He a turned around go. one. Incarnation looking to make the plays. He's in the minion wave, but he might have forward, not there. What a play with the Ignite still up on that one. Pobelter didn't get a chance to barrier there. All right, they're they're gonna try to down. Keen's out of mana. He cannot help here. He's got a blue buff and it's gonna regen on the way, but the Baron's going down too quickly. Move's gonna be in range. He's got Flash! Oh, oh no! no! The early spike by Pinnacles! <laughs> the Baron gets stolen and Kali throws the move, get out. They might pick up the kill, but Baron for gravity. Oh, no. All right. Can he do it? Dodo does not have an ulti. More damage going to Gludox. Everyone back, but it's still an available Baron. 3,000 health. Move's it's gonna queue. Knocked back by Trist. He doesn't it's have up. flash. This should be theirs. Oh my god, you are <laughs> kidding me! You have got to be kidding me! Two kills and Baron again. I. <laughs> All right, oh. I'm delirious now. What is going on? Goodbye, Kali Trolls. What is going on?